right, recording a quick video talking to you about Flowdesk's newest updates, what they just released, how I would use it. So stick around to the very end if you want to know a simple way that you can get your emails into more people's inboxes so that they actually open it and you have the possibility of them clicking. So stick around at the end. I will tell you how to get that done. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the updates. Is this thing on? All right. All right, so we're going ahead, we're recording now. So I have notes right here because these are very fresh Flowdesk um, features that they just released and talked about today. And so I have my notes right here so that we can go through these together. The first thing that they put and implemented today is double opt-ins with a thank you page. And so this is awesome because now you'll be able to tell people better to go check their email because sometimes with the old opt-in forms, whenever you would go in there and you would set up, you know, say thank you, uh, the thank you, that it would be hard for people to see the display message because it would come up and it would only be like one line. Um, so if you clicked on this and you click yes, I want more time, the form. Um, so once you go through and you customize, there's also a double opt-in. So you can say yes, require confirmation, which will send them a double opt-in email, or you can say no, do not require confirmation. So right now I have it as no, don't. If you are having trouble with spam email addresses coming into your account, then go ahead and click the yes that you want to require a double opt-in confirmation. Because what that will do is send them an email where they have to click yes, subscribe to be added to your email list. So if it's a spam account, then they will more than likely not go in there, click the email and then be added. So if you're having trouble, definitely um, click yes, require. Um, this is the same, you can be notified if you want to be notified if somebody enters your email. Um, I always say no, don't notify me. And then right now we have the redirect to uh, subscribers to a URL. So I have a URL address or there's also a new one. Um, so I will show you that you can do uh, the double opt-in thing, double opt-in with a thank you page and how you get to that on your account is if you go into Flowdesk and then you click on your um, name up in the top right hand corner, we're going to go to brand preferences, scroll down, and then you have your double opt-in email and then your thank you page as well. So for double opt-in, you would just hit customize, and this is where they will see join the list. So that's where they'll click to join the list and then you can optimize that way. And then you also have your thank you page. So if you view that, this is what the thank you page will look like. I thought this was gonna be awesome because I thought that you were going to have the availability to set up Facebook ads um, as a conversion for a goal without having to create a separate page. However, that's not the case because the thank you page is a one one and all. So the, you have the same thank you page for any opt-in form, which is a limitation. Hopefully they'll address that and fix that in the future so that you can create Facebook ads and set up a conversion rate or a conversion goal of when they form, they, they put in their, their contact information, and then whenever they click submit, it'll take them to a thank you page. Right now, you cannot do that because A, you can't put a pixel in, and B, they only have one thank you page that blankets all of your contact forms. The next thing is you can now select subscribers in bulk. And this also goes in tandem with the third thing where you can um, go through and filter out your subscribers. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so if you go back into your account and you go back to the home page, you're going to see we have audience and you can go into subscribers. So whenever you go into subscribers, you can click filter. And so this is really cool. This is how I would use this feature right away is you can go into last activity. So this is the last time um, that they interacted with your email. Let's see, how do they put it? Well, let me hit the little question mark. Last activity is usually like last time they opened, clicked, and they interacted with your email. 
So you can say, hey, if somebody hasn't interacted with my email um, in six months or more, they're probably um, are a dead lead. They're just filling up space and they're lowering your open rate. So you can filter them and you can click apply filter. It'll bring up all of these subscribers. You can click select all and then you could go ahead and delete them. And then the last change is a very simple. You can go ahead into your account um, and underneath the um, account, you can change your email address. So that way, um, whenever you uh, are switching domains or do you wanna change your email address, you can go in there and hit edit by yourself. I think beforehand you had to email them and get them to do it on the back end, but now you can do it on your own. All right, the last thing that I wanted to share with you is a way that you can get your email into more people's inboxes so that they're actually opening your emails. And the way that you do this is through your domain authentication. So if you go into domain setup, you have this option to get your domain authenticated. And so super easy way, once your domain is authenticated, your emails are going to uh, be in more people's email, email inboxes so that more of them will uh, get your email so that you can raise your open rate, which is always good. The more people opening your emails, the more people clicking, the better that is. All right, so those are just some of the, the updates coming. I'm really excited because the next thing that Flowdesk seems to be working on um, is being able to resend email. So if somebody hasn't opened your email yet and you wanna resend it like in 24 hours, that's always been one of my favorite features um, on other platforms. And then they're also working on affiliate dashboards. So that's what's coming up next. And of course, I will update you with another uh, video. All right, thank you. If you have any comments about Flowdesk, drop them in the comment section below. And if you are not on Flowdesk and you want to sign up, there is an affiliate link down there um, for $19 for forever. So $19 doesn't matter if you have one person on your list or 100,000 people on your list, it's always gonna be $19 a month, no matter the size of your list, which is amazing. Um, so you can get that link down in the comments. And if you are liking this content, go ahead and click the thumbs up button because it really helps my video get out to more people, um, which is always great. So thanks for tuning in.